LeBron's brand, even though he, we started off knowing him through basketball, even though we started off knowing him through the NBA, he built a brand so much bigger than that. And he capitalized off of the opportunity that he had. And then he expanded past that way more than anyone could probably even imagine. Um, he's probably one of the few, if not the only active billionaires who's currently a player. And he did a lot of that through building his own brand. So, so I use this as an example. Y'all can probably think of your own um, people that have built their brand and made it a lot bigger. But making sure that you're not just, you know, using this opportunity as, oh, let me just get a quick buck or two. It's like, no, you can make something 10 times bigger. And a lot of these pro sport leagues grow because their players grow. Speaking of the league that you guys are in or the industry that you're in, I'm excited about the growth. Um, here's some some recent data that I pulled. Um, it's very similar to some data from last year that I've seen when I was presenting this, but it's, it's still very, very, I, I say eye-opening and just enlightening you know, to what the esports industry is going to do in the future. Uh, the global market size is going to, I think, I think increase by five times within the next five years. And when all eyes start to point at the esports league and people start to see the UEL, all and every one of you have had a major impact in this in the growth of this industry. And typically, when pro East, when pro leagues start to build, they look at the people that were building the foundations. And they're able to get sponsorship deals in the future, partnership deals, able to really grow their career, which helps and goes towards that player's earnings. I know a lot of the talks were about, about how do I capitalize off an opportunity like this and make sure that it's financially or make sure that it's lucrative for, for me, um, which, I'll, which I'll get in and talk about. But if you're looking at the rise of esports, y'all are in the perfect uh Y'all on the perfect network, you're on the perfect organization. And just based off of all the people in the chat that I saw earlier, you're in the perfect group because I see a lot of people supporting each other. And I think that's major. Um, and all of that to say is, you know, you guys are going to be able to reach your max level if you follow a couple of these steps that I'm going to talk about. And then I can open up for some questions because I'm trying to hit some things on some high level points. But I'm going to take my time with these next few points just to make sure that I'm really driving the message home and then obviously I can allow for um, some questions and we could talk about um, my business or anything that I'm going through right now. One thing that I will say if we're talking about LeBron, how he was able to capitalize and make himself even more known outside of just basketball is he took a lot of things serious such as each and every game and practice itself. So look, y'all, like I said, I'm a gamer, so some of these examples are going to be from characters that I like. Um, but, you know, taking that game and taking that practice serious is major. Like, each and every one of you are competitive. I'm sure. That's why you're in a pro esports league. But whatever is done in the dark always will be revealed in the light. All that hard work that y'all putting in, in the, like, that people can't see, it's, it's, gonna, it's going to show. You might have a good game or two. But if you really practice and work on, I don't know if y'all run plays, so y'all like, just let me know if I'm saying too much. But you know, if y'all practice plays, y'all practice, practice communication, you know, it's gonna it's gonna show in each of the games that you are putting in. I was playing ball earlier, and a guy asked me because uh, they found out I started playing basketball at 13. He was like, "Well, what were you doing before that? I'm confused. Like, what were you doing?" I said, bro, I was I was gaming since I was six years old. Like that's how I stayed out the streets. Like that's how I uh, really stayed focused on my homework too. Cause the place I'm from, like it's better to stay inside. So I say all that to say is from the things that I was able to do at six all the way to my adult life right now, it's actually starting to show into my brand right now. Like it's starting to show into the things that I do on a regular. I can be real authentic about who I am and what I do because I take things serious or I make sure I practice how I play. So so same with y'all, you know, it's no different. Your branding has to be authentic. So if you take things serious and you stay consistent at it, you'd be amazing at the growth that you guys have. I don't know all your LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, this, is, this isn't that audience. I don't know all your Twitters and all your uh, Twitch 
you know profiles right now but I guarantee the most successful people on those platforms are the people that's most consistent for sure so uh, that kind of builds into your communication you know you got to make sure that you master those communication skills uh, I'm sure everyone in here was an adult when COVID started and I know y'all know about the phenomenon of Among Us man that that thing saved me so many hours of boredom just watching people play Among Us. But something that I love from Among Us was the communication. Like the people that I like most, I like how persuasive persuasive they were with their arguments, or persuasive they were convincing their team. Like yo, this is yo he, he kind of sus, bro. This this not him or or no, nah, they're definitely a, a crewmate. You know, I started playing Among Us with my team when I was working in tech. You know, they were they were obviously bored too, suffering. It was COVID. Uh, so I started playing and, you know, one time somebody asked me, they said, Yo, Tyreek, it was clear to me that you were the imposter. How did you convince how did you convince this person that you weren't? Like it was very obvious. And, and truth be told, I'm just very articulate about the way that I interact with specific individuals or specific people. And all of you have different personalities. Uh, I don't know if you ever took a personality test, but I would highly recommend it. All of you are, some of you are sensitive to certain things. Some of you aren't as sensitive to other things. Some people are empathetic. Some people are not as empathetic. Like, it's all about our personality and that communication skill to talk to a mass audience is good, but to communicate with an individual is even more um, of a skill set that I would highly suggest you start to focus on and make sure that, okay, I'm trying to master my communication, not with just one person or one individual but as many people as possible to help network never forget and i thought this was my my next slide but i guess not but never forget that your network is your net worth i'm telling you communicating with certain people will open doors that was not available to you without that third party i'm trying to get that through your head your network is your net worth so mastering that communication skills is huge you know, I like that you guys, I'm assuming a lot of y'all have Twitch and Twitter. I'm, I've seen a bit of your, uh, I've seen a bit of your, um, your Discord. So I know a lot of y'all promote yourselves. But one thing I would, I would say is I actually started to become a better speaker when I started streaming. You know, if you can get through the awkwardness of talking to yourself with no one following you or you on stream and no one's on live and you're able to communicate to the world as though a million people were watching and you probably got one or two people really watching your streams, that will really, really definitely help your communication skills for sure. Because you get to learn how to be a little bit more authentic and you learn how to be a little bit more open. And like I said, y'all, I can't see the chat, but I, I had an example of somebody for this next slide. Um, do y'all know who Tyler Blevins is? Tyler Blevins is his name, but, but his alias is Ninja. And I know that he blew up off of off of Fortnite. Now, I missed that whole wave, so I'm not 100% sure about Ninja, but I know a lot of people are familiar. But from my research in him, he used social media to his advantage. He he didn't he didn't play around with his Twitter, or his Twitch, or I forget the I forget the last platform I studied about him, but I know he took great advantage of his social media presence. Let me see. I got 78 people in the chat here. If 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 I go to any of y'all Twitch and I don't see 78 people for each of y'all Twitch, that's a problem. I got to utilize each and every person in this network and make sure y'all all staying together because let's say uh let me see. I'm looking at my guy Mr. OG here with the with the shades on. Let's say let's say he connects with I'm also looking at Global Figure. You know, his network and Global Figure's network together much bigger network that they can have separately. So if if I see 78 people in this chat, I feel like all of y'all should be following each other and supporting each other because your network's only gonna grow and y'all can really capitalize off that social media presence. Now, y'all, y'all, this is Fortnite, so I know that's how Ninja got popular, but y'all definitely know the OG Mario. I cannot for the life of me figure out whose face this is for this GIF. So just go with it. I, I have. I do not know the face of these coins. I was trying to figure it out, but I thought it was perfect for this next topic, which is make sure you're planning financially for your future. It really doesn't matter what career you have. I, I like that a lot of y'all are pro esports players, and I know there are different tiers of players, and I understand that um, there are things that you need to 
to financially be responsible for immediately. But we have financial coaches and they, her, one of my favorite financial coach, her name is Taylor. And she tells me all the time about the importance of budgeting, like personally and professionally, it's extremely, extremely important. I'll say this quote, because I know that the millionaires, they only use 30% of their income. Now I know a lot of us are thinking, yo, I can't, I can't survive off 30% of my income. That's impossible. But I say all that to say is you got to think about the mentality of someone who's investing in their future. They're not spending as soon as they get. They're making sure they're investing in things that's going to make them uh, a far better career or a far better brand. You know, I like that y'all own the UEL, but I love that the UEL is trying to promote each and every one of you to make sure that you are your own brand. I think that's the coolest thing because you don't get a lot of companies and you don't get a lot of um entities that actually try to promote each, each and every one of its people. So that's amazing. So I want you to think about your career being relatively quick, because in a blink of an eye, it can go like that. But as you start to plan for your future, regardless of what your position is or how you're in the UEL currently, it's going to be extremely important that you're planning for that future. Now, again, I ain't checked the chat, so y'all have to let me know whose face this is so y'all figure it out, because I, 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 I can't figure it out for the life of me. But like I said, your network is your net worth. Never forget that and make sure y'all capitalizing off this esports community. I have had clients that have done esports tournaments for uh, nonprofit organizations, for different companies. And I'm going to say like, from everyone that I've worked with so far, I have not seen a group as connected as the UEL. I, I haven't. So I know for a fact y'all are in a great great spot i <laughs> trust me i've seen a lot i've seen a lot and y'all are in a great spot this group i mean i can see the number in the chat i can't see the chat but i just see how active y'all are this is amazing so take advantage of the community that you're in right now but take advantage of the community outside of this each and every one of you are thinking like a total of 18 states from just from what i hear I could be wrong about that, but at least just from what I hear. So make sure you're taking advantage locally. Make sure you're taking advantage nationally. I think a lot of y'all are, are doing that. But if you're not, please, please take advantage of that. All of these things that I just mentioned are going to go towards your brand. <clears throat> I, I have one thing afterwards, but I'm going to just go back just to make sure it's, it's extremely clear. Make sure y'all take y'all games and your practice serious. I know it's video games. But still take it serious. Basketball, basketball 75 years ago, a joke. 75 years later, people would do anything to make it to the NBA. Take it serious. You never know what can happen, man. Master your communication skills. That means difficult conversations too. If it's somebody in here that you feel like, I really need to talk about something that's, that's difficult, but I don't know how, you better practice that. You better practice that seriously. Good conversations, difficult conversations, all of it go goes towards your communication skills. Never forget that. Like I said, I got 78 people on this chat. I don't, I'm not going to check each and every one of y'all Twitch, but definitely follow each other and connect with each other. Make sure y'all build that social media presence. Can't figure out my man's face, but uh, plan for your future financially. It doesn't matter what stage of your career you are in, what career, what tier, what, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you invest in, make sure you invest in your future. If your camera isn't good right now and you finally get a little bit of money, invest in a better camera. Invest in a better mic. It doesn't have to be the end goal. Just slowly throughout time, just invest. And I guarantee you, after a while, you'll, you'll be like, damn, I'm so glad I invested in this, let's say, two years ago, three years ago. You'd be surprised. So definitely invest in yourself or, excuse me, in your brand to plan for your future. And then lastly, like I mentioned, Make sure you are networking within that esports community. I mean, my business has been able to go places and, and have certain clients that I never even thought about. And even though I'm a gamer, I love the fact that I'm able to work inside this community. So y'all definitely make sure y'all take advantage of that. And I'll tie all that in with saying make sure you have a routine. Make sure you have a routine. Consistency is key. If you do something one day, see if you can plan and make it make it a part of your day tomorrow. Like. I know a lot of people that practice super hard. I'm talking about NFL now if I'm talking about some of my NFL clients. I know a lot of people that practice super hard 
And then the next day they're just like, all right, I'm not, you know, I'm not really that interested. And the next day they might be real high and they're real low. It shows in their performance. It shows in everything that they do. Have a routine. I do speeches all the time. I can do this. I can do this a hundred times to a hundred different types of audience in front of any number of people. It doesn't matter. Have that routine and make sure that you're growing, staying consistent and being productive. And lastly, I always end with a quote. And I, I, I did this at a university in Paris, and, and, and from what they told me, they really enjoyed it. But I thought this was great here just because I have an opportunity that not everyone might really understand what you got going on. But it, it's not really about wishing. It's definitely about doing. You know, the people that's the most active are going to be the ones that's most successful for sure. So I know it's I know it's uh, at least it's late over here in the East Coast. And, and I know I've been on this call for a minute. Um, I didn't want to steal too much time, but like I said, man, my name is Tyreek Ali Kane, and I really appreciate your time.